Hi guys, here we go. I'm Thomas here. Um, second video of the day. <laughs> Just doing my work here. I'm taking a break. But I wanted to talk about um, this past week. There was a, a hearing, a Senate hearing, where this um, lady, um, and I feel sorry for her, really I do, uh, she had, um, because of the, the health crisis that's going on down at the border with the fentanyl, and um, her two sons um, had gotten these medications. Somebody had put them in there, and and they ended up dying because of fentanyl. Um, and the lady was talking about uh, how fentanyl is affecting um, a lot of people, and it affected her family. And uh, and I I I really felt sorry for the young lady, and I felt sorry for her family. And I you know there's no I can say with losing your child and with losing two children so which made me sick was um, President Biden laughing at this lady and she lost her two sons but yet he's going to talk about his his son passing in uh, 2010 or 2011 and he had all this emotion uh, but yet uh, he can make just of this lady who lost not only one but two children, two male children, and you're gonna be on stage and and make light of this lady's loss. Um, I dare you, President. I dare you. That's that is mean. You can't do that. You talk about how uh, your son meant everything to you, and and how you had to deal with the pain of your son dying. So. How is your pain worse than her pain? And she lost two. You only lost one. But that's not the point. The point is, is that you should have some compassion for these people. You should have some kind of kind of compassion. Uh, what's going on down on the border is horrendous, and I, and you are f having a f a failure in your leadership because you're the you're supposed to be the person down there, and you're supposed to have um, Kamala Harris. She can't get out of the bathroom. She she's she is missing in action, and she's supposed to be a, uh, a, a DA from California. She don't even know where the board is at, and these people, all the stuff that's going on down there with all the fentanyl that's coming across there. I mean, I've looked at the, the how much how much fentanyl has been crossing the the, the border. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. We got to do something about this. So, I just want to say, um, you know, lastly that you know, President Biden, you got to have some more compassion. Uh, Kamala Harris, get off your ass and do something about the border. I'm, you're not going to do anything about the border until until it's too late. Well, it's already too late now. So, <laughs> you got to think. In, in 10 months, it's going to be um, election time going to start and who are they going to look at they're going to look at you, you two fools and your failed policies and you can't blame them on Trump <laughs> you, you've been in charge for like the last two years and, and we have numbers of all these deaths and all this film come across the border and you did nothing to to prevent it no wall you changed policies and we got all this stuff going on because the buck stops with you. You. You're the person that's in charge. So, anyway, uh, you guys have a good day. Let me know how you guys feel about this. Um, you know, I just feel it was a very, very bad and in poor taste for what the president did. And I'm going to call him out on that. I'm going to call him out because um, that was not right. And he better not go up on stage, talk about his poor bow again, and how he died, and how you want people to be compassionate because of you, and you're going to laugh about this lady's um, pain that she lost of her children. That was nasty. So, you guys take care.